February 25, Mark 7, 24 to 8, 10. And thence, having risen up, he went away into the borders of Tyre and Sidon, and having entered into the house, no one he wished to know it, and he could not be hid. 25. Having heard for a woman about him, of whom had her little daughter, a spirit unclean, having come, fell at his feet. 26. And asked him that the demon he should cast forth out of daughter her. 27. But Jesus said to her, Suffer first to be satisfied the children, for not good is it to take the bread of the children and cast it to the dogs. 28. But she answered and says to him, Yea, Lord, for even the little dogs under the table eat of the crumbs of the children. 29. And he said to her, Because of this word, go, has gone forth the demon out of your daughter. 30. And having gone away to her house, she found the demon had gone forth, and the daughter laid on the bed. 31. And again, having departed from the borders of Tyre and Sidon, he came to the Sea of Galilee through the midst of the borders of Decapolis. 32. And they bring to him a deaf man who spoke with difficulty, and they beseech him that he might lay on him his hand. 33. And having taken away him from the crowd apart, he put his fingers to ears his, and having spit, he touched his tongue. And having looked up to the heaven, he groaned and says to him, Ephatha, that is, be opened. 35. And immediately were opened his ears and was loosed the band of his tongue, and he spoke rightly. 36. And he charged them that no one they should tell, but as much as he them charged, exceeding more abundantly they proclaimed it. 37. And above measure they were astonished, saying, Well, all things he has done, both the deaf he makes to hear and the dumb to speak. Chapter 8, verse 1. In those days very great the crowd being, and not having what they may eat, having called to him Jesus, his disciples, he says to them, too, I am moved with compassion on the crowd, because already days three they continue with me, and have not what they may eat. 3. And if I shall send away them fasting to their home, they will faint in the way. For some of them from afar are come. 4. And answered him disciples his, Whence these shall be able any one here to satisfy with bread in a desert? 5. And he asked them, How many have you loaves? And they said, Seven. 6. And he ordered the crowd to recline on the ground, and having taken the seven loaves, having given thanks, he broke and gave to his disciples that they might set before them, and they set it before the crowd. 7. And they had small fishes a few, and having blessed, he desired to be set before them also these. 8. And they ate and were satisfied, and they took up over and above of fragments seven baskets. 9. And were those who had eaten about four thousand, and he sent away them. 10. And immediately, having entered into the ship with disciples his, he came into the parts of Dalmanutha.